hey guys what's up thank you so much for clicking on my video so today i'll be showing you how i transform my 4c coils into a silk press so go ahead get locked in sit back relax we're about to get started all right guys let's go ahead and get started so i am going to be using my heat spray very generously throughout my hair I absolutely love my coils and my 4C curls, so I'm going to be trying to protect those as much as I can. And you can use a heat protector of your choice. That is totally up to you. Now I'm going to be using my olive oil, which is my ORS serum. Now be careful when you use a serum, it can leave your hair very heavy or sometimes oily depending on what brand you use. So notice I am not spraying as generously as I was using the heat protectant so just be very careful with that now i'm going to part my hair into four sections this makes it a lot easier when i am blow drying and also combing my hair out next i'm going to be using my blow dryer on the highest setting possible and when you are blow drying your hair when you purchase a blow dryer make sure you get one with those detachable combs because it works absolute wonders on 4c hair or any type of curly hair oh my god it's amazing so be sure to buy a detachable comb with your blow dryer so here it is guys my secret weapon so i am like really old school and also a creature of old habits so this is just something i have always been using for the past years i think ever since cosmetology school honestly so this is my baby my hot comb what i'll do is i go through with the hot comb first just so i can get closer to that scalp and then i will follow it with my carbon comb of course and my flat iron which is like on a 450 setting so this is how i flat iron my hair So if you guys do ever decide to use a hot comb, make sure that you comb your hair out um, as good as you possibly can with a small tooth comb prior to using a hot comb because you don't want to leave that heat on any strand of hair for more than what's needed because it will burn out. So comb your hair prior to applying the hot comb to the hair. So guys, if you're not comfortable using a hot comb, please understand that this is completely optional. You do not have to use a hot comb. You can use a flat iron of your choice. The only reason I use a hot comb is like I said, I like to get extremely close to my scalp and it also helps me get my edges just a little bit better. So you do not have to use a hot comb to achieve this.
Okay, so now for the part that I hate, and I'm pretty sure most of you hate this part as well, I'm going to go through and clip my ends, and I normally can do a pretty good job, but I hate once I get towards the back because I always end up with one side of my hair longer than the other, but I'm clipping my ends, or should I say giving myself a haircut, but you guys catch the vibes. Alrighty, so there you have it guys. This is how I flat iron my 4C hair. Now stay tuned. I am going to show you guys what I do to get a little bit of body within this hair. And that clip is going to be next. So if you liked it so far, hit that like button guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And stay tuned. One more look. Okay, so this is how I add body to my hair. I'm taking that same flat iron that we use to straighten the hair and just putting in some very, very tight curls. Um, it's best to get these curls as tight as you can um, because that makes them last a little bit longer. And so after I finish curling the hair, I am going to wrap it for a little while and I'll show you guys the end results. All right, guys, this is the final look. So as you can tell, the hair has a lot more body now, and it also looks a whole lot fuller than it did when the hair was just straightened alone. So I'm just taking my fingers and also my wide tooth comb and going through there and combing it out, making it a little bit bigger. Now, this look would look great if your hair was cut into a bob, but I'm not cutting my hair right now because I'm trying to see how long I can grow it. But if you guys like this video, go ahead, hit that like button, that subscribe button, leave me a comment below. I'll see y'all next time.